Okay, let's take a look if we have a number outside of our radical. So what if we have 5 times the square root of 18? I'm going to break down 18 first. So 18, if I think, what's the biggest perfect square that could go into it? That would be 9. So I could write that as square root of 9 times square root of 2. And I'm just going to bring the 5 down. The square root of 9 is 3. So now I have 5 times 3. I can't simplify the square root of 2 anymore, just bring it down. So my final answer is 15 square root 2. So if you have a number outside already, when you simplify radical, you will multiply. If you want to use the factor tree method, break down 18, I could use 6 and 3. 3 is prime. 6, 2 times 3, those are now prime. You have a pair of 3's. So this would be 3 square root 2. Bring this down, you're going to multiply, and I end up with 15 square root 2. Let's look at a second example. So let's say I have 10 times the square root of 72. If you're going to use the perfect square method, you could list them all out. Until you uh, get to 72, so I have 49, 64, 81. So 72 would fall in here, so I'm checking the 64 and go into that, nope, 49, nope, 36 does, so this would be 10, and I could break this down into square root of 36 times square root of 2, square root of 36 is 6, I'm going to multiply that by the constant I already had on the outside, Square root of 2 I can't do anything with, so my final answer is 60 square root of 2. If you don't like that method, use a tree. 72, 8 and 9, 2 and 4, 2 and 2, 3 and 3. These are now all prime. I have a pair of 2's and a pair of 3's. Whatever I have a pair of is going to come out, so I would have... 2 times 3, this 10 I'm going to bring down, and then I didn't have a pair for that 2, so that goes back inside. 10 times 2 is 20 times 3 is 60, and I still end up with 60 square root 2. Okay, let's look at one final example. Let's say I have, um, I don't know, 6 square root 45. The largest perfect square that goes into 45 would be 9. I could rewrite this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. Bring down your 6. Square root of 9, 3. 6 times 3. Square root of 5. I have 18. Square root of 5. Want to use a tree instead? Break down 45. I could use 3 and 15 then 3 and 5. These are now all prime. I have a pair of 3's, so I have 3 square root 5. Bring down your 6, it will get multiplied times the 3, 6 times 3, 18 square root 5. Choose the method you like best.